Hi, I'm Michael Humble and welcome to the Sales Acceleration Show. Today we're going to discuss how to sell and how to scale a digital agency. I've invited Freddy, who has the best and most nicest beard in Belgium, <laughs> to explain us how they use their own methodology to do it and how you can actually programmatically do it. Freddy, but before you go there, explain to our viewers what you do and how on earth you pronounce your last name in English. My last name in English? My <laughs> <laughs> in Dutch is verschoren, so uh, let's try it uh, the, sa the same way in, in English, verschoren. Verschoren? Verschoren. Okay, <laughs> cool. So, tell us what you do. Uh, so, I'm a client services manager at Invisible Puppy, a strategic agency. Um, what I do is I sell. Um, I sell our packaged products uh, to our clients. And then the big question is... Yeah. What's the methodology? How do you how do you sell? Because you're offering a service in essence. Yeah. Right. So how do you attack it? You go to the executives. You go to the mid layer. What do you do that makes you differently? That because you've been growing very rapidly. Why why do you guys stand out? What's your technique? Our technique is in fact we have a a packaged approach, mm -hmm. um, and we have two ways of approaching. We, we prefer to work for ambitious managers that know... But you don't know that up front, right? No, but we can know <laughs> that if they contact us. Right. Yeah, if they contact us, we can offer a solution. So we do solution selling. Yeah. But if we approach them, it's more of a provocative way. Yeah. It's more provocative that we will tell them, this is a problem you have, and often they're not even aware of that problem. Yeah. And how do you do it? You're going to show them something? You, how do you do the... The provocative part because um, the danger is if you do it wrongly yeah they'll shut down and you never yeah. I mean, they close the door yeah we we've we've tried uh a numerous tec uh, techniques and what we saw that worked uh was in the preparation yeah and the killer slide the killer slide the killer slide the naughty slide, the naughty says, slide. Uh, yeah the naughty slide to level the playing field so what, what what's the naughty slide naughty slide can be for you claim to be uh, this is your core business. What happens if people uh, use these keywords? And you in, just show it live. And we show them. So this is... And you do it in the beginning? In the Where beginning. Where do you do it? Really like from the start, hi, I'm this yeah, guy, yeah. I want to show you something. This is your yeah. site. Bam. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true provocative. But then, so you do that to the exec or to the level below? Depending, depending who is this, this is really the first meeting. Yeah. So it can be. Uh, shocker. <laughs> it's a shocker. It's a shocker. But never have uh, a negative approach. No, no, I agree. I agree. Never had an. Uh, so because you show that and then say, let me true. tell you how you can fix this. Yeah. 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 And uh, that can be for for the the marketing manager, the sales manager, or even the CEO. Yeah. Because often we we we're faced with uh, a marketing manager who is not able to convince his yeah. CEO. But I, I always believe you need to sell, you need to make sure that the guy or the girl you're selling to, you is all the material for the one that approves the budget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And yeah. That's not, you, you, you know my theory, yeah, because yeah, when you yeah, talk yeah. about it's not you 20 need, slides, it's like one or two, just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have, to, you have to have a buy-in of the person in front yeah. of you, and you have to help him or her to persuade the... the, so, the you said something interesting in the beginning. You said at a certain stage, you said, yeah, when people call us, now, that's intriguing. Yeah. How do you find them? Do you do cold calling? You do mailing? They come to you? Because lately I've been getting a lot of questions around pure cold calling. I have yeah. a feeling it's starting to come back while a lot of people say yeah. it's dead. I, I, I'm in the middle. I think you need to do mul multiple things yeah. on the same moment. So what, what do you guys, what do you think as an experience with all these years in sales? What's we use, we use uh, cold calling. Now, still, but still, very, very focused probably. Very focused. So. Yeah. Maybe the term cold calling is, is, isn't correct anymore. It's maybe Luke calling or uh, call Luke. It? Luke? Not warm, not cold. Ah, okay. In between. I'm thinking Luke Skywalker. I got all these wrong. Uh, it's the beard, man. It's, it's the beard. Let's not go, let's not go with Star Wars. Yeah. We, we're, uh, we will be here this evening. Um, Luke calling. Right. Um, so because you, you modern techniques, modern marketing gives you the possibility to, to, to have a focus uh, and to know a lot more of your your prospect mm -hmm. than we had 20 years ago, as I we agree. started. 
I, I'm sure you recall but the it's Excel. A tough, uh, yeah, but it's a tough, a tough spot you're in because I'm pretty sure that the marketing manager and marketing directors, they're being attacked by all the tooling SaaS companies yeah. trying to sell a tool because I, I, I help a lot of them. Yeah. And then you come and say, well, I'm an agency. I can take away your pain. I mean, it's, it must be tough to get through the glass door. They are looking always, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But since it's packaged, since our approach is small, uh, we have a different approach. Uh, we don't do it in uh, instead of the customer. We do it with the customer. And you avoid risk. We avoid risk, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and we, we, we are really transparent in our communication. Yeah. The client knows what we're doing. Yeah. Everything is measured and everything is really transparent. Yeah. And there is a lot of communication. We are working hard on the communication with... Do you, do you lead, do you always bring a, a, a PowerPoint? Because one of the things I always yeah. see that works really well is you have to make the intangible, which is a service, a, a promise that you deliver something, you need to make it tangible. Mm -hmm. So how do you do it? Is that a PowerPoint? You leave documents behind? What do you In do fact, to make it sticky? We, we, have, we have documents, but we, we use a PowerPoint. And PowerPoint. it works. Yeah. And you, you, you always try and do a PowerPoint? Yeah. Because yeah. I got a lot of discussions and I truly, I believe that you need, I'm, I'm a visual guy. Mm -hmm. So I need something to, to watch and I need something to fiddle around yeah. with, right? So that always works. But you still do that. Yeah. PowerPoint slides. Depending. I, I always have it. Yeah. Now, the best conversation with a client is the, the conversation where you, have to, where you can close your, your, your portable, not use the, the PowerPoint presentation because there is a communication uh, real. channel and, and, and a real communication. Yeah. A real discussion. You start draw drawing sometimes? St uh, yeah. Yeah, I love that one yeah. because it, it focuses attention. Yeah, Let yeah, me yeah. show you yeah, and, and, then, and then you get books like these that are packed with yeah, drawings yeah. and nobody, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nobody can follow. So you have a really cool company name. Yeah. I think, you. I mean, do you use it in the process? Of course. Of course, you of should. Course. I mean, yeah. It's a selling thing. So it's how, a selling thing. So what does it, it mean? So it's invisible puppy. So what does it mean? Invisible puppy. Uh, so you get to the reception and yeah. then I can imagine they go like, I what? Say, I'm, I'm uh, Freddy from Invisible Puppy. Invisible what? Yeah, Invisible yeah, Puppy. Exactly. Uh, with, with, with a smile, always yeah. a smile. I'm sure that person at the reception desk will tell about the, the name of the company uh, maybe uh, later at night uh, at home. Now, Invisible Puppy... No, no, she will talk about your beard, Clark. Clearly. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. Invisible Puppy uh, stands for two things. Puppy is the internet. It is 20 years of age. Uh, a lot of has happened in the last 20 years, but uh, it's still a puppy. Yeah. Because there's a lot of things coming our way in a, in a very, very fast pace, which makes it really invisible for companies, for CEOs, for marketeers, for managers. What do I have to do with the internet? What do I have to do with social media? How does my website uh, needs to change? And what's that the is most what it, efficient? What's, yeah. it, what's in it for me? What has the re yeah? Uh, what's, what's in it the for impact? me? What what can what do I have to put in it, and what can I gain out of it? Uh, and that is what Invisible Puppy will make clear for those customers. Thinking about this, so when I'm a CEO or an executive, mm -hmm. and you tell me this is the budget, yeah, I always want to know. So what what's the impact then? Do you put that on paper? Do you make a study, or you just basically say no? This is the how do you deal with that question? That's a difficult question. I know. And That's why I'm asking you. It's a nasty question. Mike. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, now, the thing we 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 have tools, we have metrics, but uh, do they really want it? I'm wondering, or is it more of a you need to divert if, if the question? They 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 often know. The the question is asked. The question yeah. is asked. Uh, what's in it for me? It's difficult to to respond to that, but you can you can counter it. Mm. Imagine you don't do anything online. Uh, it's the negative uh, argument. Imagine you don't do anything online and your competitor yeah. does it well. Fear of missing out. Fear of missing out. Yeah, it's a very, very yeah. strong one. Yeah. And with that, we're going to end here. Thanks a lot for coming, Freddy. If you like what you've seen, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Freddy. Thanks. Uh -huh.